Jeff. Printing. All right, Jeff's our printer man. Need something printed? Yeah. Jeff's the man. I'll do it. He's got paper and ink on it. He can handle it. That's right. All day long. All right. <laughs> Yes, we got, what is this piece of equipment? Navy Dick 360. Okay, how old is it? About 50 years old. Really? How many How many impressions are on this bad boy? This thing's probably got over a million impressions on it. All right, sweet. So what are we printing up here? Looks like you're printing the envelopes. Yep, these are two-way two -way remittance envelopes. Okay, cool. They're uh, fun to run because they're funky little envelopes. Right. Takes a steady hand, huh? Yep, you gotta know what you're doing to run these bad boys. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so the media is lying to the people. Let's make it stop. So information is power. That's how you fold some paper. All right, rock and roll, man. So what's your name? Uh, Paul Whitmerger. And what do you, where, are you, where are we at? We are at uh, Freedom Phoenix. I don't know, is this uh, the warehouse here? Yeah. And we're stuffing some envelopes and, and uh, trying to spread a good message. Okay. And uh, what do you, what do you, why are you here? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles. We're here uh, doing a documentary about chemtrails. And uh, we thought we'd come out here and talk to some fellow activists and see them before we head back on the, head back on the road. And, Go back to LA. So he put you to work, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so what's the movie gonna? What's the movie title? You got a website to go to? People can check out. Yeah, the name of the movie is What in the World Are They Spraying? Uh, producer G. Edward Griffin. Um, you can go check out our website at uh, truthmediaproductions.com. Truth what? Truth Media Productions. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. So you're out here uh, doing some video? Yeah, When's we got a couple interviews from Senator Karen Johnson, former senator, and uh, Cal uh, Arizona Skywatch. So it went really, went really great. How'd you pick Karen Johnson? Um, we just heard some good things about her, so uh, we thought we would come out and Mike hooked up the interview, so we are like, why not? Cool, did you hear about what she did at the, state, uh, the floor of the Senate? All about 9-11? Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing, huh? Yeah, she seems like a great lady. Yeah, she really kicks ass. Well, cool, man. So where are you heading out? You're going, leaving to L.A.? Yeah, we're leaving right now, actually, in a couple minutes, and uh, driving back to L.A., and then, and then next week we go up to Northern California and then to Oregon, so it's going to be a crazy couple weeks. When do you think the movie's going to be out? Fall, 2000, fall this year. Oh, cool. All right, awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Well, <laughs> we're trying our best, man. All right. That's all you can do, right? That's it. Okay, we'll pound it, man. Hey, thanks for giving me uh, some time on camera. Absolutely. We'll put you on YouTube, man. All right, my friend. And it'll be up on Freedom's Phoenix maybe today. Cool. All right, Thank cool. Spraying left and right. What kind of proof, though, do you have that there's actually chemicals in these in these sprays? I mean, how can a, a you know a Joe Schmo on the street go, that's a chemtrail and that's not a chemtrail? Well, that, that's a real good question because okay. you, you can just test in in the rain. And what they're finding, there's a correlation between when trails are in the sky and it rains. They're finding massive amounts of aluminum, barium, strontium, and then when there tends to not be trails, those levels come down considerably. So, And there's also many people have done air quality tests. Mm -hmm. Phoenix uh, 
or uh, Arizona Skywatch. So there's a literally, and that's scratching the surface. Okay. Literally a mountain of evidence that that proves. Cool. So what's your name? Mike Murphy. Mike Murphy. Well, good yeah. to meet you, man. Likewise, man. Well, cool. Get Topher too. Because I didn't get him doing that operation. Yeah, we're here at Freedom Speaks and we're packing packets for the Libertarian Party. We got um, we got David Nolan, we have Pal Gamel, we have um, Nick Coons, Andrea Garcia, uh, Barry Hess, Mike Schoen. And uh, this is all going out to 5,000 libertarians here in Arizona. This is how we do it here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Freedoms Phoenix Workshop. I even got my libertarian hat on. Even though I'm not really a libertarian, I'm more of a voluntarist. Huh? Hi, how's it going? It's going good. <laughs> You're a real libertarian, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know the classifications of that anymore. <laughs> Uh. Okay, because yeah, I got uh, these back. left. <laughs> Thinking about taking and this part off, huh? Put it over in that one, other one? Okay. <laughs> so Not there today, might though. be more of those. Uh, Purchase parts. Go. Okay, so there's 5,000 uh, folded, inserted, collated, stapled, and everything. Right, right. So how long did it take us around? About, well, I started, what, Tuesday? Okay. Uh, through Wednesday, through Thursday, through Friday, and it's almost noon now. Got it. So how many hour, how many man hours do you think we got in it? Uh, I put 36 plus... You did. 6 plus 9 plus... Four. Okay. So I don't know what that is. Okay, but that's for you. But then, then you have all the other people that put in time. Have volunteers, yes, yeah. That, that uh, Ernie needs to thank personally or monetarily or somehow. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. Know? Okay. <laughs> well, cool deal. But we are on schedule and we're ready to go. So uh, awesome. Good to go. We did. And so you're going to drop these in the mail, then they're going to go out today, huh? Uh, no, they're going to go out Monday or Tuesday. They got to label them, uh, wait for seal them, and.